Alexander von Humboldt, the great German explorer, he actually inspired Charles Darwin to go on the Beagle, which the outcome was the evolutionary theory. Alexander von Humboldt, he taught us that in nature everything is connected. The water evaporates at the oceans, rains down on the mountains and flows back into the sea. Don't get me wrong, water on this planet is finite. But nature shows us how to make infinite use of a finite resource. Why don't we? Zachgung, actually, where we are today, stands for blossoming. That's what nature does. Nature is the infinite production and the infinite consumption without waste. Why don't we do that? You might ask me, how should we do that? Now, conventional industrial production, additive production, subtractive production, milling as you know it, or maybe 3D printing, that has no future. We have to digitize our materials. Who knows Lego pieces, Lego bricks? Most of us played with them when we were small. And these Lego bricks, actually, you can build houses with a higher precision than any industrial milling machine could ever do. The robots, they all have a little uh, um, place to move. They cannot be as precise as Lego bricks. But there is one more thing about it. You never throw them away. Why? because how to recycle Lego bricks, this information is ingrained into the material itself. Every child can take a house and recycle it, because you exactly know where you have to break them up. That's why you never throw Lego away. That's the future of production. And any, nothing is ever lost, except maybe these small pieces my children leave on my way to the toilet at night when there is no light which sometimes is a little painful, but it's for a good reason. So everything is here forever. Remember Julius Caesar, last famous words, you too, my son Brutus, when he exhaled his last breath, these were billions of air molecules. And these molecules are still here, right now, in this room. How many do you think of these billions of molecules? It's 10. 10 of them still remain. Isn't that amazing? Maybe even a CO2 molecule is among them. CO2 is such a rich and important resource, not only for nature. We use CO2 to postpone the next ice age for tens of thousands of years. If anyone ever tells me global warming is not man-made, I have to tell them, tell them you underestimate our capacity. You underestimate what humanity can do. Actually, Half a million years ago in Africa, when our ancestors, they did not leave the trees. That's wrong. The trees left us. Climate change. They were just going away because the subcontinent of India created the Himalayas and that would uh, change, uh, would create Sahara and we'd have to leave our trees or the trees left us. So. The recent climate change is not the first one, and it won't be the last. Actually, climate change is that what made humanity. Humanity is, the speciality of us is to overcome climate change. That's what made 
us. And really, all the CO2 molecules we are saving right now, and maybe even storing, they will come in handy. Because the next ice age is coming, I can tell you that for sure. And then we are going to need to heat up the Earth again. So we showed that we have the capacity to manage the climate. Would it be, wouldn't it be immoral not to manage the climate of our planet? for a better world. Now, nature, as we can see it outside, agriculture, this Gagarin Valley is an agricultural valley. Farming has a dark secret. If you depend on the yield of your land, you have to fight for it until the end. Because if you don't fight, you will die anyway starving. This organization of violence, that's what we call war. And its organizational form we call state. Nation state is not only a violent idea, it might be one of the most dangerous ideas that ideology ever came up. But what's the antidote to war? I mean, Right now, over the Armenian mountains, in the Black Gardens, there is a silent genocide happening right now. What could be the antidote? It's prosperity. Widespread prosperity ruins the value for money of war. If you have so much to lose, who would go to war? If you have everything that you could have, why would you go to war anymore? So war is not the absence of peace. War is the absence of growth. How could we achieve this? We are, we only have this one planet. We only work together on this one planet. And actually, we are all the same, aren't we? Now, Alexander von Humboldt had a brother, Wilhelm. And his brother, less known, but more influential. He created the humanistic education system in Prussia, which was the blueprint for education all over the world. Humanistic education. And what he taught us is, that a finite resource of letters. There are 26 letters in the Roman alphabet. I learned here in Armenia there are 39 letters, right? In the Armenian alphabet, a finite resource. But if we use this resource infinitely, we create poems, we create ideas, we create innovation. And this is literally countable infinity. Our mind is able to create an infinite number of solutions. Literally. We are standing now at the beginning of infinity. So, why on earth would we cancel the apocalypse? Because we can. Let's do it. Thank you. Thank you.